Sydney's rental market is definitely in a crisis mode, and this is why. Sydney rental market is crazy because today I've been trying to not even get a rental but just to try and go and see some inspections, see a few houses within the proximity of the city but things are not working well. It is super packed, there's like 30 people coming in to see a one bedroom apartment. Which is too much, it is too much. This gives too much negotiating power to the landlord, to the agent, and not so much to us, the renter. But I will give you an update. Currently, I am in a suburb called, I believe I am still in Surrey Hills. It is a very nice suburb. I will take you around, show you a few stuff. Let's just go and grab a few coffee from around here. That was a good lunch. Let's head to our second inspection of the day. Let's go. Um, the second one is in Paddington, which is quite a hippie area. I wouldn't say hippie, but a lot of you, the grad, newly graduate students, um, tend to go and live in Paddington. Let's see how nice the area is, but I can't feel much because it's raining hard. But let's go. Can you guess how much this apartment costs per week? With its old rustic building, tiny footprint, dirty and beaten kitchen, especially the oven. Is it 150 a week? Is it 200? 250? No, it's a whopping $350 per week. That is $1,400 per month or $18,200 per year. And that is not all. At one of the opening inspections I visited this morning, there were at least 30 interested people coming to visit the place. It is so packed that I didn't even bother going up because what's the point? So do you think it would be rent for just $350? I don't think so. So what is causing all these commotions? Realestate.com.au reckon it is due to a very low supply and very high demand. For those of you who don't do economics, this is what a normal demand and supply equilibrium looks like. When supply is low and demand is high, these lines shift, resulting in price increases. But what exactly does this mean in real life? The same source suggests three main reasons. The first one is increase in immigrants coming into Australia. As they are coming to Australia, they tend to have to rent first as they do not have the property of their own yet. The second reason is that we are seeing lower first home buyers figure. This suggests that younger people tend to rent instead of buying as well. The third reason is that during the start of pandemic, people moved to regional area for a better environment or any other reasons. But now, as we are returning to normality and people are returning back to the office, people are also returning back to the capital cities, thus pushing the rental price further. On the supply side, we are seeing a low level of investment in the property market. The supply is not growing fast enough to keep up with demand. So what do you think? Do you think 2023, the rental market in Sydney will keep continue to push up comment down below